How to lay out a course. As a teacher, you have a lot of control over how your course appears to your students. For example, if your organisation allows, you can change the full name of the course, which is in large here, and the short name of the course, which appears in the navigation bar. You can also change the format, how your resources and activities are displayed. This course is in numbered topics, for instance, which can be renamed, as we'll see later. Many of the changes you can make can be done by going to the gear menu top right and by clicking Edit Settings. This takes you to the setup screen of your course, where you can change if you need to, its full name and its short name, and again, only if allowed by your organisation, the category in which it appears. You can hide it until you're ready and set course dates, although note that the end date will not prevent students from accessing the course. You can also add a description of your course for students who aren't yet enrolled and if you wish, you can upload a file, for instance an image. If we click Course Format, this is where we can choose how we'd like the resources to be displayed. Topics gives us numbered topic sections here, we can also select to have weekly format, where the sections are named as weeks. Social format, which is basically one big message board for discussions. Or single activity format, which would allow you to add just one particular item, such as a SCORM package or a quiz. If we choose topics or weekly format, we can then decide whether we want to show all the sections on one page, which is what we will do, which is the norm, but if you think you're going to have lots of sections and that would cause some scrolling, then you can choose to show only one section per page. This has an effect on how your students view your course, as we can see here in this course on a different Moodle site, Types of Sport. The first time you access it, you can see each of the sections and then grayed out on the right the activities which are in these sections. If you then click the link on the section, for example the second section, Tennis, the student will only see the activities in that particular section and they'll navigate to the other sections by clicking the name in the section on the right there or on the left or by going to the Jump To menu and selecting from that. This is an individual setting and it might be useful if you think your course will have a lot of sections. Appearance will allow you to decide how many news items you want to show in the Announcements forum. If you set it to zero, you can then delete the Announcements forum if you don't think it will be useful to you. Options can be explored by clicking on them and expanding them. For instance, if we click and expand Role Renaming, if you don't want to call your students students, but you want a different name, learners for instance, then you can change the name here and that will appear just in your course. You can also tag your course to help new students search for it. If we now click to save, then in the next video we will turn on the editing and look at the changes we can make to a course, such as how to rename those sections.